everyone! Today we are with the beautiful Silka. We are going to do a little bit of a vinyl skin tutorial. Okay, so I'm gonna obviously start with a little bit of skin prep. I love using a little bit of a damp sponge. This is a trick I learned when I went to makeup school in Paris. So I'm using Augustine Spader and I'm just gonna give you a bit of moisturizer. There's a, a few tricks that you can really use to exaggerate your radiance and I think that's something that's really nice as we age to look as if we're super radiant from within and that it's not necessarily makeup that's doing it but that it could be you and you woke up like that and you're just super healthy. Okay so I'm gonna give you a little bit of one of our lit up highlight sticks. I'm gonna use nectar and I'm gonna just go kind of across your natural high points, your cheekbone under your eye and this is a good trick for anyone who has, you know, a little bit of dark under their eyes, um, using a lit up right, you know, kind of under your foundation, under your eye on those circles because it's reflective. I like exaggerated highlight, like I like the chin to be a little, especially if you have beautiful skin and beautiful cheekbones and jaw. A little bit on the cupid's bow. A little bit in the tear duct. So the tear duct is really pretty because it creates more space between your eyes and it creates also an openness, which is really beautiful. When you have a little bit of sheen just in your tear duct, even if you're wearing, for example, eyeshadow and you add that little drop of dewiness, it's so pretty. I'm going to start with Vital Skin Foundation and the finish is really beautiful, it's easy to use. So my philosophy is always I like to use two shades because I like to really maintain the essence of your true skin. Okay, so for you, I'm gonna use Vital Skin 1 and 3. So I'm using my foundation brush and I'm going under your eyes, you have such gorgeous skin. So I'm, I have the lit up, the nectar underneath here because I want Silka's skin to look as if it's her skin. I don't want it to look like she has tons of makeup on. So I'm lifting up this little outer corner and there's a little bit of a dip there. So I'm gonna just add a little touch more. So just around also the lip area, women can often have a little bit of darkness, you know? So it's again pigmentation and that's a hormonal place for um, pigmentation to, to kind of appear. And Vital Skin 1 is a little bit too light, so I'm adding in a little Vital Skin 3. And really you can see with your eye when it starts to look a little like it's the wrong color. Go over your chin a little bit and just make sure we make the skin even. But really you never have to think that, oh my gosh, I have to apply foundation right. all over my face. You never have right. to do that. So kind of here to do makeup, what do you do? Light, like super light foundation, that's super sheer mm -hmm. because it's just a matter of, again, I want to preserve the glow. I don't want to mat it up. This is our Vital Press skincare powder. The color is creme and basically it's a skincare that's pressed and it's mattifying. So it's really nice for your skin, but it also does, you know, sometimes you it need to, you maybe have a little bit of sheen and also what it does is it's gonna help where you have some, you know, bigger areas of pigmentation, it's gonna help the product stay. Oh. And I'm just gonna give you a tiny bit. This is a beautiful, beautiful product. And I just love the fact that it's a pressed skincare. Kind of just dusting over any areas that have a little too much sheen. Just on your forehead a little bit, maybe corners of your nose. The skin still looks radiant and beautiful. I mean, you look like an angel, Silka. So I'm going to add a little bit of uh, baby cheeks, just a tiny bit of flush, so it looks like we have a nice circulation in our skin. And then if anything happens to move, I can always just go in right in with my spot checking brush and correct it again. So I'm going just across your cheekbone in a way where I feel like you could authentically have a little bit of rosiness. I'm not going too far down because I don't want to drag anything down. I just want it to feel like an authentic placement so it feels like this is her skin. Silka let me know that she doesn't really wear mascara. It's not like her go-to. So I think that we're in a good place. I think your skin looks beautiful. It looks radiant and it looks nice and kind of um, 
even and you have a nice flesh and you just look beautiful so let me show you yeah. let me let me see what you think oh yeah I mean this is totally what I would do for myself too <laughs> all right well thank you Silka oh, and you. um that's vital skin kind of just beautiful finished skin on kind of you know chicks in our 50s mm -hmm.